Well, now you got my attention, but now what? <laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 7 of WandaVision. I know I seem to be jumping in and out, and especially after the cliffhanger that was episode 5, which led into episode 6. You would have thought I would have reviewed it, but I didn't. I just didn't feel like it. The structure of the show has changed, thankfully, from something that was incredibly very mundane and very slow to build to something that now actually has its hooks in you. It is now actively building something that is worthwhile watching. And while the Easter eggs are far more apparent, they're far more littered throughout the show, the core idea of the show is still kind of set on what is actually happening inside the Vortex, who is actually in control of everything. And there's a twist at the end of this episode, which... I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of indifferent about how it is because I did like the idea that Wanda was, you know, controlling it. It was obvious that there was someone else, that there was a third party kind of behind the scenes doing everything. But the fact that it's Agnes, I guess it's kind of apparent, kind of obvious that it's her. But it, admittedly, we still have to see who it is. There's still two more episodes. We're going to see what happens with that. I, I like how Pietro just died. He's gone. Completely. I, I like how they don't even bother to try and address it anymore. They're just, it's, it's gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious if they're going to bring that back, considering that was a possible tie-in to the whole X-Men universe. But just from how Feige has been and how slow they have been to make any announcements about the X-Men thing, I swear there must still be some legal issue going on. Uh, there has to be. I can't imagine why it's taken them this long to do so. I like how the mystery is slowly starting to unfold. I did think that the homage camera work to Modern Family, even though I haven't seen Modern Family, I know that Modern Family is kind of a... the camera work is a little bit more active of that of The Office, a lot more just like fast zoom-ins, but with higher quality cameras. Very well done in this. I liked it. I liked how Vision's even like, why am I even talking to you? I'm still curious as to what the end goal of this series is because it has to tie in to what's going on with the whole overall universe, right? Essentially, we are almost starting from scratch again, whereas Infinity War, sorry, uh, the first Avengers movie was kind of building up the whole Five Stones, Thanos, and blah, blah, blah. We are essentially back in Ground Zero again. The multiverse movie with Spider-Man 3 could possibly be the one that kicks off this whole new story arc, but we'll, we're going to have to see how that goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll admit, I'm, I'm curious now. I'm hooked. I'm actually interested in the show. Is it raving good as everyone says it is? No, it's still not. It's decent now. It's far better than it was before. If you binge this, it would be a lot more enjoyable, I feel. Watching it episode by episode has been an absolute chore, in my opinion. I, I haven't found it as interesting as I thought it would be. If they were going to do something like what they did with The Lost Boy, sorry, The Boys, where they did the first three episodes, which kind of did an opening arc, and then they did it episode by episode, I feel that maybe they should have done more than the first two, at least, because the first two episodes of the show had almost nothing happen in it. But otherwise, I feel that this episode's fun. I think that this is found its hook, it's found its niche, it's found its calling, even if the whole FBI guy, what's his name, Hayward, is just a complete and utter dupe. He's just a stereotype dum-dum. I am interested to see where things go. So, give it props for that. In the end, I'm going to give this episode a 4 out of 7. But honestly, the true reason why I made this video is we have a new Patreon supporter. We have a new Gold Snicker Bars supporter, Emilio. If you guys recognize the names, because I've mentioned them several times in the past, about a great gaming channel you guys should check out. He just did a video doing a blind test challenge with his brother, trying to guess five major burger joints up here in Canada. So... It was really fun to do, and he's made me want to do it. So thank you, Emilio, for joining the group. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And I guess we'll see what happens on episode 8, and if I feel it's worthy enough to talk about. Anyways, see you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.